Today we'll show you how to do software updates on your Apple computers and on your Apple iDevices. First what you want to do is find your app store. So it could be down on the dock or you may have it hidden. So just go up to the Apple, go down to the app store. When you open it up, you'll see all different icons up on the top. The far right one should be updates and you may notice that there is a circle with a number in it up there and you'll also have a red circle down on the dock if you have the icon down on the dock. That means for me that I have one software update. There could be multiple ones to update. So what you do, just click on the updates and it will take you to the update page. See what you need to update and just hit update. If you have multiple updates, there will be an option up on top here to update all. But when you hit it, you may get opted for a option like this to connect to a battery power. Definitely do this because your computer does run down the battery and you could die. So make sure to plug it in. Once it's plugged in, just hit continue. You may need to type in your account information, so your administration name and your password, but then it should start doing the install. So now we will do software updates on a iDevice. So right here we are doing it on an iPad. So what you need to do is find your app store. It could be on the first page or it could be somewhere else, so just make sure to know where it's at. Again, you'll notice the red circle with a number. That means how many software updates you have to do. So if you tap on the App Store icon, it'll come up to the App Store. You'll notice all the different icons on the bottom here. What we want is the one to the furthest to the right, which is the updates. Go ahead and tap on that and we will come to this page. Again, you will have your list of all the software that needs to be updated on this. You've got the option to update all or you can update them individually. So if you tap on update, you will notice that the iPad will start to do the software update. Sometimes you may get asked for your Apple ID and password, so make sure that you know that on the spot.